most people in America are looking for how to make a life worth living and a retirement having. In order to do that, you have to be able to talk to people. You have to be able to know what to say, how to network, how to get people interested enough to join your social online portal, and openly then you have to be willing to allow them to shine. If you're not willing to be able to share the stage or have someone supportive behind you, then there's always a problem. But who you share the stage with is often how you make your life. So let's look at what's been effective for you in marketing you. Did you do the right thing or did you choose the wrong partner to be marketed with? Do you have the right photos online or do you have the wrong photos online? More importantly, who's online watching you? So when I do these social media conversations for marketing minutes, what I can tell you is that a lot of people think they're social media directors and what they're doing. In general, however, you should not be rejecting anyone through any of your social networks because it's not wise. You don't know who they are. You've not talked to them. You're doing things based on a hunch and that's just not practical. In America, we have rights to see things, to do things, to feel things, to be things, but there's always someone who wants to censor us. And the censorship of America is not your right. The abuse of someone's medical body is certainly not your right. And your desire to see someone naked without their lawful consent is never your right. When I talk about medical rights, I am screamingly, angrily mad. I am raging for everyone across America that there are people in police departments, people in medical clinics, and people in religious right groups that think they have the right to undress someone in the night, shave them, and burn them in some way with chemical warfare, cut them around their genitalia to mutilate them, and they think if they pay them $10, it's okay, and it'll all be all right. The liars of America are abusing God's plans for people, and plans for, for God are not what you have the right to do. But listening to God's plans for you might just save you a lot of difficulty, a lot of harm, a lot of challenge. But sometimes people see something as greener on the other side and not realize that what's in front of them or what's coming to them is what God's plan for you.